Hey everyone, welcome to your 40 minute abs and arms workout. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells and your water bottle and let's get started. What's up everyone? Welcome to your arms and abs workout. I'm really excited to jump into this workout with you and I think everyone, all fitness levels, are going to love this one. You're gonna want dumbbells from, for me personally, 10 up to 30 pounds. We're gonna go for two minutes in our work periods, two minutes of abs, two minutes of arms. I'm gonna have you do a little tempo counting, so two reps of each left and then right. It'll all make sense once we get started, but your medium to heavy dumbbells today, since we are working for a little bit longer, one round per exercise, okay? Grab your water and your sweat towel as well. We're gonna jump right into the warm up because I know you're here and you are ready. If you're not, get your mind right, we got this. Three, two, one, come on. Just breathe and move with me. There we go. Open the chest, relax your mind. Good, three, two, just your left arm crosses over. Let's go. Good. Exhale your core as tight as you swing over. One more and switch arms. Here we go. Good, three, two, and one, backward circles. Great job. We're just gonna get the heart rate up, get your body nice and warm. It's gonna be a good workout. The two minute work periods are gonna fly by. We're gonna have some unilateral work today. Good, switch directions, let's go forwards. Unilateral means one, Limb is working at a time. For today, it's gonna to be arms for your upper body, and sometimes the legs in our core moves. Good job, pull your fingertips back and back. So in your two minute work period, for example, in the first one, we have shoulder press. You'll press for two on the right, two on the left. One, two, one, two. So the two minutes are really gonna fly by. I need you to challenge yourself with these weights. I need you to grab the weight that is a little bit ambitious. Have a weight that's one below that, right beside you, just in case you need to drop down. All right, palms face the floor. Let's drop the ears, left and right. But I want you to start ambitious. A lot of times you'll surprise yourself by lasting the whole time or longer than you think you could. But if you never try those weights, we're never pushing up into the place where we reach our full potential. Two more, one. And two. Good job. Hands on your tailbone, open it up. Good, one hand at a time, reach back, right from your chest, up, up, up. Good job. Three, two, one, perfect. Twist, a little bit, arm here. Three, two, one, all right, here we go. Roll your wrists out. We're gonna start in 20 seconds. The clock is gonna be set for two minutes. You've got shoulder presses, all right? Dumbbells are here by your side. You're gonna press one, two, switch it over. One, two, okay? Seems a little bit like a dance, but it's not. Just a shoulder press. All right, so grab weights, an ambitious weight, and then a weight you can drop down to if you wanna go about it that way, okay? Here we go. Two, one, let's go. Two minutes on the clock. Great job, we're 30 seconds in. I'm using my 25s here. Ambitious, but I might surprise myself with how long I can push this weight. And that's how we get better. So I only do what I expect you to do. Good, first minute is officially over. Minute two.
Come on, keep pressing. You've got 30 seconds. Nine. Come on, finish on this side. Three, two, one. Rest for 30. Great job. 30 seconds on the clock. We're going into leg raises. Okay, very simple option here. One leg at a time if you need to modify. Two legs go down together if you are able. Okay? If you'd like to add a little challenge to this, feel free to hold a stability ball between your legs or a pillow. All right, let's go. Six seconds. Hands are here. You go down as low as you can control. Two, one, two minutes on the clock. Let's go. I want you to exhale before you lower, not as you lower. Good, you're looking for 32.30 on the clock if you're watching. Thirty seconds down. Good, you're one minute in. If you want to add a little spice, open and close at the bottom and then come back up. Add a little more spice by just coming up about 75% and then going back down. Last 30 seconds, come on. Nine. Come on, finish. Three, two, one. 30 seconds on the clock. You grab water, I'll show you what's next. Beautiful job. Two rows left, two rows right. I'm gonna put you on the floor since we are going a little bit longer. Okay, so you're gonna pull here. One hand goes on the dumbbell of the other side just to get you propped up a little. One two, down and switch, okay? Whew. So I've got my 15s, 20s, and 25s out here. I'm gonna start with, let's go 20s. Ready? Here we go. Two minutes. Come on, you got one round per exercise. I need you to go as hard as you can here. Good, there's your first minute done. Minute two, let's rock, come on. <sighs> Try to not touch the ground between your two rows. So pull up one, right before you touch down, pull again, then switch. <sighs> nice job, 40 seconds.
Nice, a good strong back. 30 seconds. Nice, work it out, 15. Four, finish on this side, three, two, one, and breathe, and we're back to some core work. Great job. Whew. All right, we're gonna go side plank rotations. So you're gonna be left side plank, roll it over, right side plank. Okay, per side, you're gonna have two dips. So you're gonna roll here, dip down one, two, roll it over, one, two. Okay, we go in seven, and yes, you are ready. Come on, we're going together. Two, one, dip it down, go one, two, switch it over. Good job. You're looking for 27.30 on the clock if you're watching. I want you to feel that stretch on the way down and I want you to feel the bottom part of your obliques driving your hip up to the ceiling. Great work. If you want to add a little spice to this, you can always throw a dumbbell on each side. Okay, and as you roll over, just put it down and swing it back on top. Good job. There's your first minute, done already. Thirty seconds. Nice work. Don't stop for twelve. Two, one. Beautiful job. All right, we're going into a chest press next. And if you have a bench and you wanna pull that out, feel free. All right, we're gonna go two and two again. Chest press, two right, two left. All right, your other arm is waiting down at the bottom. We're going in 10 seconds. Okay, come on down. Five, four, elbows are about 45 degrees out. Shoulder blades are together, and let's press. Come on, one, two, switch. Breathe, keep moving. If you wanna add a little more spice, I know I keep giving you this option, add a little more spice, but make your transitions a little quicker. So on the way down from your second press, you start pressing the other one, and they switch like a seesaw. There you go. All right, first minute is done.
Good job, you've got 30 more seconds. Come on, 15. Finish strong. Four, three, two, one. And you've got your longest rest of the day. We are five exercises in. You've got a 45 second rest right now. So grab water, shake your hands out. We're gonna move on to core again. But first five exercises are done. Now your hands need a little break. <sighs> Great job. All right, we'll get started in about 20 seconds now. Sit up, and you're gonna knee drive to the left two times, to the right two times. Dumbbell is optional, but if you use it, I want you to hold it bow tie style. So one hand on each end of the dumbbell, or you can hold your head here. One, two, and switch sides. Let's go. Two, one, here we go. Come up for two, and then switch. 22.15 is what you're looking for on the clock. Modification here would just be a crunch. Okay, so instead of bringing your shoulder blades off the ground, you're just crunching opposites but I would rather you get your shoulder blades up at least before adding the twist if you need to modify. Keep control here. One minute down, one minute to go, come on. Come on, exhale. Thirty seconds. Don't stop, don't stop, 15. Five. Rest, good, coming on up. Lateral raise pendulum, okay? Just like your shoulder press, you're gonna step with it. So you go one, one, two, two, okay? On your second one, as you lower, I want you to lift. Okay, so 15 seconds. Get into that groove of keeping a dumbbell moving, okay? Here we go in five. I'm gonna step it out to the left first if you wanna go with me. Two, one, let's go. Just adding a little side step just to kind of keep you moving. Helps control your core a little bit as well. If you're moving upper and lower, you've gotta be engaged. Great job, 30 seconds in. You're looking for 20, 45 on the clock if you're watching. There you go, there's your first minute. Minute two, let's go.
Great job, you're right there. Fifteen, fourteen. Three, two, one. Great job. Have a seat. Hold one of those dumbbells with you. We're gonna go seat to twist, okay? A solid two minutes, holding it bow tie style, and I want you to lean back, keep a tall spine, here, here. Okay, if you can touch elbow down, that's fine. You can go there, and we'll go in 10 seconds. How you doing? Pretty good? Okay, good, let's go. Four, three, exhale, two, one, don't have to do two and two, just rotate. Keep breathing, exhale like you're blowing out of a straw. Think of your rib cage. Reaching for the opposite side hip. We're looking for 17, 15 on the clock. Good, there's your first minute. Minute two, let's go. Focus, breathe. 45 seconds. Thirty seconds. Good. Seven, six, two. One beautiful job. And we're gonna switch up some formats just a little bit here. So grab water, you've got 30 seconds to rest. We're gonna hit the biceps, okay? 60 seconds curling on the left arm. 60 seconds curling on both. 60 seconds curling on the right arm. We start with the left arm in 10 seconds, okay? Two weights here, grab one, just curl, and then we'll pick up the other one. Three, two, one, I'm gonna start with my 15. 60 here, 60 in the middle. Middle meaning both arms. And then 60 on the right side. You're looking for 15, 45 on the clock before you switch. And anytime you feel like you're swinging this dumbbell, stop, slow it down. Take a breather, shake your arm out. A little shimmy, when and if you need it, because we need good form. Oh well, yes, as you move into both arms here in about 20 seconds, this left arm's gonna feel tired, that's okay. You got it, 15 more seconds. Good, one more curl, and on the next curl, bring both arms up with you. Ready, let's go. Yep, one side feels heavier, that's okay. Breathe through it. Soon that arm will be resting and you'll be working the other arm double time. Good, focus, keep those dumbbells moving at the same tempo, even though one arm is a little more fatigued. Great job, 30 more seconds right here. Got 
up. Should be feeling a good pump here. Getting some blood flow. 15 seconds, you're gonna lose the left arm. And just curl with the right for 60. Five. Let's go two more, ready? Two, one, all right, just the right arm. Keep the elbow close. Think about squeezing instead of swinging. Good, 15 more, or 30 more seconds, sorry. Come on, squeeze, 15. Ah. Seven. Come on, work, work, work. Two more curls, two, one, rest. Okay, beautiful job. I want you to grab the two heavier dumbbells that you've used today for me, that's the 25s. You're gonna anchor yourself down, holding onto those dumbbells over your head for this next core move. So you can grab those or a bench or a leg of a chair, okay? You're gonna anchor yourself there. You've got the left, middle, and right again, but we're gonna go crunches, okay? So I'm anchoring here. Left leg comes up, back down. I'm tapping the heel here and down. If I can lift my hips, that's perfect. If not, crunch, reach, crunch, reach, okay? We'll go in four, three, two, one, let's go. And you're locking the arch of your foot in right beside your knee, adding a little hip lift. You've got 60 seconds here. Slowly lower on the way down, okay? In 20 seconds, you're gonna flip to both legs, just together, just locked in like this. Heel tap, lift, okay? We've still got 10 seconds left on the single leg drive. Good job, seven. Three, two, knees and ankles together. Tap heels, lift hips, good. That's it, slowly unfurl, so don't let your back slam down. Keep that crunch, lower the crunch, and then relax when you feel your tailbone touch. Not any bit before. Thirty more seconds here. Good, 15, and you're just gonna switch the single leg to the other side. Three, two, one, let's go. Up. Nice work, this is full core control, right? You're lifting and you're lifting again, and then you're controlling that lower. Thirty seconds. Thirteen. Every time I close my eyes. 
one more. Three, two, one. Oh, rest. <laughs> Beautiful job. Nice work using that anchor. I know that's a new little add-in, but I want you to get comfortable with the eccentric portion of kind of like a leg raise. If I get your hips off the ground a little bit and tell you to control that, and then your legs, that's just the next challenge up, okay? Tricep overhead extension and three close presses is the exercise we have up next. One dumbbell here, bow tie style. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna start with my 20. Okay, and we'll go in seven seconds. Keep your elbows in tight on this press so that it is tricep dominant. Three, two, let's go. Good, you're looking for 7.15 on the clock left. Don't lose control. One minute down, one minute to go. Great work. Thirty more seconds. Breathe. Fifteen. Two, one, rest, great job. Oh, two more exercises, everyone. Come on, you're doing great, give me two more. I know you've got that left in you. We've got core, and then we'll have a finisher together. All right, two minutes on the clock again. You've got three toe touches to the left leg, three toe touches to the right leg. I do want you to hold a dumbbell in a single arm. So that could be 10, 5, 15, whatever it might be. Okay, one leg is gonna drop. You're gonna toe touch to the other leg. Three, two, one, switch. Okay, let's go in four. Three, two, one, come on. Thirty seconds down. Don't worry about your head. Don't be yanking on your head. Okay, just get the shoulder blades up, up, up. Good job, there's your first minute, done. Minute number two, let's rock.
That's it, come on, 30 seconds to go. We're in this together. Nine. Three, two, one, and breathe. You are doing amazing. In 30 seconds, we've got a three minute burst of work and that's it. Single arm, both arms, single arm, okay? Grab a weight, you're gonna go sit up, shoulder press, okay? So double arms and abs here. You're gonna come up, go one, two, okay? Then back down. You'll stay rocking on that arm for 60 seconds. Then you'll transition here to the middle. Same thing, 60 seconds, then you'll go to the right. Ready, three, two, one, and we're off. The first minute, come up, press for two, and back down. And if you want a little spicy add-on here, legs are up as you press. Then put them down and go down. Got a lot of components here for you anti-rotation for your core. So when you come down, your core works to not let you twist here, right? Keep it in the middle. And if you feel yourself shoulder pressing and falling back, get a little more upright and or put your feet down. Fifteen seconds, you're transitioning to holding that dumbbell with both arms. Last one on this side, come down. Next time you come up, dumbbells in both hands. 60 seconds here, let's go. Last 30 with the double arm. <sighs> 10 seconds, you're switching to the other arm, single arm, double press. Four. Three, next time you come up, single arm, let's go. Fight for it, come on. It's your last 35 seconds of work here and we're done. Great job, work it out, come on. Fifteen. Five, last round, come on. Up, up, everyone together, press. One, two, and you have made it to your cool down. Amazing work, come on up to standing, don't leave yet, I know. You're tired and also know and hope that you're proud of yourself, but don't leave yet, okay? Big deep breath. One more, big deep breath. Grab your hands over top. Pull, pull, pull. Great job, switch it over. Great job, drop it down, grab right behind your back. Push down towards the floor with your knuckles, open your shoulders. Good, left arm comes across your chest, pull to stretch your shoulder. Great work today, be proud of yourself. 
This is the part of the workout where you can say, oh, I made it, I did it, okay? So be proud, give me some good energy here. I did it, I'm pumped for myself, and most importantly, I'm getting closer and closer to the goal that I have for myself. Switch arms, this is all about you. This is about making sure you have what you need, and on the back end, after we're done working out together, I expect you to hold up your end of the deal and make sure you're eating in a way that gets you closer to the goals that you have for yourself. And that can range from longevity, feeling well, actually getting off medications, all the way over to changing the way your body looks or changing the way you feel in your clothes, okay? And it can be a bunch of combinations of both of those things too. Whatever your goal is, I know for sure, without a doubt, that when you pay attention to your hydration and your nutrition, you're getting closer to that goal. Because there's no downside, there's no negative connotation to having a better relationship with food and having the food that makes you feel great. Okay, at minimum, if you feel better because you're eating better, that's a huge mission accomplished. That's a huge win. Okay, from there, your goals are individual and I'm here for every single one of those goals. I'm here for you if you're repairing your relationship with food, if you're trying to gain weight, you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to feel better, look better, you're trying to just finally be consistent, you're trying to finally care about yourself and you deserve it. I'm here for all of those goals and probably everyone has a combination of those goals in mind and in their heart. What I do expect that you do is put in work on the back end to become the well version of yourself. Okay, not just the chiseled, jacked version of yourself who's adding mass or losing body fat. Those are great byproducts of taking care of number one your mind and your heart, okay? Do not expect perfection, it is not real. It is not out there, okay? You might think that it looks like it, nobody's perfect. And the expectation to be perfect cannot be your main source of validation, okay? It's gotta be, do I feel good? Do I appear in my life in the best way possible? Do I show up in all these places as my best self? Okay, do I take care of myself before I then present myself to what I need to do and what I need to be? Okay, not perfect, it doesn't exist, it's an illusion. Perfection is not real, but your dedication to yourself and being the well version of you is gonna get you as the foundation to the baseline of those goals, okay? So whatever you accomplish, I know that the most well version of you is going to be the foundation of that journey for you wherever you're going, okay? Very proud of you, keep loving yourself, keep working hard and keep showing yourself that you value your life by eating well, hydrating, sleeping, and working out. And I'll see you back here for our next workout. Great job today.